Peter as well. Axel, Stan, of course, because uh, it's all about the what fans. What do you mean, here. Stan, of course? Oh, Stan, of course. I you know? only answer questions if I like the question. <laughs> <laughs> and if I know the answer. <laughs> I love it. It always keeps me on my uh, on my toes here. But let's let's get the fans to participate. Okay, let's get the kids here. Here, come on, speak up into the mic. Um. So, what's Thor's favorite donut? <laughs> what's Thor's favorite donut? What's Thor's favorite donut? <laughs> what is Thor's favorite, favorite donut? donut? Yeah. Sugar donuts. <laughs> Extra sprinkles on there. Yeah, here we go. That's a good, that's a good quick kid question. Uh, how about someone in the... Wait, right there with the orange glasses. Yeah, speak up real loud and I'll repeat the question. Go ahead. All right, Stan, I'm sure in your journey, in your path, you've encountered a lot of obstacles and a lot of challenges. Are there any words of motivation or inspiration that you've either heard or read that you'd like to share with us today? Okay, so the repeating the question is, so Stan, and this can go for anyone here, Overcoming some obstacles and then whatnot. Any kind of uh, advice that you'd like to give for those who may face little obstacles uh, in getting to their yeah, eventual if goal? You can't, if you can't overcome an obstacle, walk around it. <laughs> <laughs> that is good, right? Take the easy way out. Peter, you know what? I'll, I'll... I'm still worrying about what Thor's favorite donut is. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Peter, how about you? How about some advice to some of these young kids here? You know, you're an actor, you're, you're doing it. I think that if you have an obstacle, uh, you, I don't want to undermine your answer, Stan, boss, but uh, I think that maybe you should you know, you confront it, and whether you, you, you overcome it or not, you're going to sleep well at night because you gave it your best shot, right? So uh, I think uh, you have the courage and the bravery to face it. Okay. That's good. Yeah, yeah that's good. Axel, any, any, any advice uh, for those who want to maybe pursue their dreams? And I mean, you're certainly living up your dream and whatnot, but any advice on how to overcome obstacles? Don't be afraid to fail. I failed plenty of times, and I landed on my feet. That's good. Don't be afraid to fail. That's a good one right there. Let's get a few more questions here. We've got about five more minutes with our special guests. I'll go one on this side. Real good questions, guys. Real good questions. How about this young lady right there? Go ahead. Yell it out and I'll repeat. What kind of work did you do in 2020? Alright, what kind of work did you do, Stan, in your 20s? What work did I do in my 20s? In your 20s. Actually, I was working for Marvel. Yeah. But um, it wasn't Marvel at that time. It was called Timely Comics. Then we changed the name to Atlas. Then we changed the name to Marvel. Yeah. When we realized how good our stuff was. I'll tell you a funny thing about that. When we changed our name to Marvel, our competitor was called National Comics. That's the, the Superman company. So they said, well, if they change their name, we're gonna change our name. So this is an example of the thinking of the two companies. We became Marvel and they became DC. <laughs> I mean, you'd think they lost a bet or something. <laughs> but I, I am a friendly. <laughs> uh, Axel, I got a Giants question for you. We're going to integrate some sports and some Giants questions here. Is there any memorable moment in Giants history? You're a Giants fan. I mean, we got three championships in five years. I mean, there's so many great memories. But as a fan, can you yeah. share with us maybe a moment that really hits home for you? Well, I'm not ashamed to say I wept when the Giants finally, finally won the World Series in 2010. Um, it was an amazing moment for me to see, but I'd say the most spectacular moment for me was Panda's three home runs. Uh, here in New York, uh, Reggie Jackson hitting three home runs is a stuff of legend everybody keeps talking about, and uh, Panda did it too. <laughs> I think it was an amazing thing, it set the tone for that series, and I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like it. Excellent. Thanks for sharing that. Back to you, Stan. Any moments in your career with uh, your comics, your characters, everything like that that hits home to you? That's something that you will remember. Wow, that was a great moment in my career that stood out, and I'll never forget it in your entire career. Can you share with us? I think the greatest, mo one of the greatest moments was when we got the sales figures from the Fantastic <laughs> Four. Yeah. And that was our first experiment at doing a team of superheroes to compete with, you know, that other company. <laughs> and 
The sales figures came in and the book had sold out. It was wonderful. So that was a big moment. I like that. All right. Thanks for sharing. Two more questions and then we're going to get to the raffle and then they got to get going. Get a real good one. Okay. I already went here. I went in here. All right. All right. Give me a good one, young man. <laughs> oh, Mr. Lee, can I have your autograph? That's a good one. We'll, we'll work with that one later. One. Uh, give, give me some good questions here. Come on. Let's get a good question here because we only got a couple more. So real, real thought-provoking questions, okay? How about in the middle? How about, how about you? Yes. Uh, Mr. Mr. Lee, I have to ask, what was your favorite cameo in a movie? What's your favorite what? Cameo in a movie. Favorite cameo in a movie, Stan. We have many of them. So many great ones. Well, sure. I love the one in Civil War, but... Yeah, I right. thought my best one was in Thor when he, or the Avengers, Thor tried to make me drink, or Thor had a drink, and I wanted to drink it, and he said it would be too strong for me, but I drank it anyway, and in the next scene they were carrying me out. Now the thing, you may not know this, but the thing I love about it, it was my only cameo where I had two scenes. 